everybody, how's it going today? Good boy, has my 2 through one here. Back again today to talk about Nintendo Direct predictions. This time for the Nintendo Direct happening on September 14th of 2023. But for this predictions video, I am not alone today. I have one of my good friends with me. Somebody who has appeared on this channel once before to talk about Nintendo stuff. It's Jacob! Yeah, hey! Yeah, so like I said, um, Jacob's here with me. He was on the last video, last time there was a Nintendo Direct in June. What was it, like June 21st or something like that of 2023? Yeah, around yeah. that. So, um, two, two of them ago, around that. Yeah, because we've had a few Nintendo Directs here in like the intern time. We had the Super Mario Brothers Direct, and then have we had an indie since then? I don't really remember. I don't think so. Yeah, it may have just been the Wonder Direct. Yeah, but it wasn't totally that like far ago. So, like I said, last time I did this sort of series of videos where I talked about my general predictions, and this time I was going to do the same exact thing. This is Nintendo Direct. I mean, what are you supposed to do, not talk about predictions? Um, and I asked Jacob if he wanted to come on. So yeah, we're just going to talk about what we personally predict for the Direct. None of this is going to be right. Um, Jacob, you do want to talk about a few leaks, so we are going to be getting to that at some point, but pretty much we're just going to be going back and forth talking about what we think is going to be there. So what is your first prediction for this drag, Jacob? Uh, I think one of the first things we might get is Platoon 3 DLC for side order. Because, you know, it was um, uh, announced two Nintendo Directs ago, I think, but we haven't had any words of it since. And considering the fact that it's been delayed and delayed for many seasons, I think it's about time that we maybe get maybe like even a teaser for the DLC that's upcoming in the next couple of seasons. Because that's a really good point, because, well, I'm not a Splatoon player. I didn't even buy the game, right? I don't really know much about it, but from what I really know about it, isn't this like, isn't Splatoon being set up to where it has three sort of ways of DLC? Uh, it's two. The first one... Was, an, uh, was out as soon as it was announced, which was just the hub world of Splatoon 1, Inkopolis. And yeah, Inkopolis. Second... I, I remember hearing about that sort of as a scene in Inkopolis, so yeah. I, I thought that was like the first one, and then there was like a second one, which was just like items or something. Uh, no, the second part of the DLC, which still hasn't come out yet, is Side Order, which is a second main story. Really? Like, that's the second part. See, that's really interesting to me because, like, you would think that if that's come out so long ago, they need at least some DLC to keep people waiting. So, I mean, mm -hmm. let's think about, like, just other games that have gotten DLC from Nintendo. I mean, the only one I can sort of think of right now is, like, the Fire Emblem games. But whenever all of them got DLC, I mean, or Pokemon. Pokemon, I think, is the obvious example, right? I mean... Yeah. What? And that's another thing I think we're going to talk about in this presentation is the Pokemon DLC, even though, because what is, Wave 1 actually has been released to Teal Mask on the day we're talking about this, or, or the day we're filming this, right? Yeah. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be talking about that there, but to get back to, like, the DLC talk, like, Teal Mask came out here, what, about 10 months after the initial release of Scarlet and Violet, and then... We're going to have the first DLC, and then here in, like, what, four months, we're going to be getting Wave 2? I mean, we're not going to have to wait that long for it, while opposed to side order stuff, which is almost seeming like it's going to be a whole year after launch. That's crazy to think about. Yep, exactly. It's been forever since we've had any, like, actual good content for Splatoon, because right now it's just in a terrible state, and the only saving grace is this hopeful big update that will include this DLC, but it's been a, a year since this game came out, and we haven't had anything, like, worth our time, really. See, that sort of reminds me of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, going back to that again in a way, because really Scarlet and Violet was, had a lot going for it at the very beginning, but, like, to this point, we still haven't had a performance patch, and at this point, I honestly don't think we're going to get a true performance patch. I mean, from what I've sort of seen, like, the Teal Mask update, um, I saw one thing where it, like, it very much improved, like, the box loading, because that was a big issue at the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
just sort of seeing that, I mean, who really knows? But um, one thing I'm sort of predicting for this thing is I honestly think that here is where we're going to see the Metroid Prime 2 remastered. Um, I think it's Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I think Corruption is number three. But um, what was it? Was it the February Direct this year that we got the announcement of Metroid yeah. Prime 1 remastered? Yeah, so, it was early in the was, year. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it came out, like, what, March, if I'm not mistaken? I, I remember that my copy got delayed as all hell from GameStop because I wanted the physical, but I digress. Um, but I was really banking on Metroid Prime being there at the um, Summer Direct, but I guess the September Direct is probably a pretty good spot to put it because... I mean, Jake, what do you think? Are they going to say anything about new hardware here? Uh, for a new console, it's... Yeah, just new hardware in general. I don't know. I doubt it. Not for a long time, I think. Because the Switch is still go kicking on. It's still being very successful. And I know there's been a lot of talk about, like, a Switch 2 or something as powerful as a PS5. But... I just don't see it coming out anytime soon. And this, if it did, probably not now. Yeah, I, like, I fully expect for the next generation system to come out next year. Like, fully next year, um, probably May-ish, right? But I think maybe at this presentation, I don't think they're going to say anything about a, a new hardware. Because what is it in their, like, official tweet or message they sent out? What did they say? It was like 40 minutes um, of games coming out in the winter season. Yep. I mean, yeah, it, that's pretty much what the July one said. Only thing with the July or June one, whatever, whenever it was, I honestly forget, was literally just going to say, um, hey, it's 40 minutes of information for games coming out in the rest of this year. So, um, all that just to say, I predict a new Metroid game coming out. Um, what I was going to originally say with that was, we all think, I think everybody sort of figured out that Metroid Prime 4 is going to be released in some capacity on the next system. So I could definitely see if they're trying to space all of these out. So like maybe we'll get um, two now, we'll get three here in like um, another six months. And then in another six months, we may have the new Switch coming out. So we may be looking on another year until the Switch even releases, the Switch 2, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a Metroid guy, but I honestly wouldn't doubt we get maybe some more of Metroid Prime 4, but that's still stretching it a lot. I agree with yeah, you on uh, how Metroid Prime 4 is probably going to be a dual release. Yeah, very much like how Breath of the Wild was for Wii U to Switch. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get anything from Prime 4 directly, but I really do think we're going to be getting something from Prime 2. Um, I, I think that should be happening almost for a fact, being it, that it didn't happen last time. So, um, what's your next pred prediction, Jacob? So, uh, do you mind if I talk about the leaks? Yeah, talk about the leaks all you want. I do not give a crap. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about, like, leaks and stuff, because remember the last video we made together, I was talking about the leaks of, like, a um, new... 2D Mario platformer or a reboot of an SNES game, and guess what? Those happened, and that same yeah. guy is predicting Mario vs. Donkey Kong and a F-Zero game of some capacity. So, I'm a firm believer on this guy. I think those two might actually be happening, but I'm personally not a big fan of those two games, so I don't really care, but it's definitely exciting to see some new games of that capacity coming out. See, um, I mean, as always, you're just supposed to take leaks with, like, a grain of salt. Like, don't take them seriously, but I do remember last time we were talking about, and they did talk about both Mario Wonder and Mario RPG, which I think both will be talked about this direct. I mean, it's almost gotta happen. I mean, they're both coming out here fairly soon. I mean, what, Wonder is almost five-ish weeks away, right? Isn't that... Um, November, or no, October 20th? Yep. Yeah. And then, um, November 15th is RPG, if I'm not mistaken, so both mm -hmm. of those are coming out soon enough to where I think they are going to get talked about. 
but um, I mean, what do you feel like would be a good new Mario and Donkey Kong game? I mean, the only Mario and Donkey Kong game I've played is there is those like Mario versus like Mini Mario. It's like the thing they install on the Wii U. It's like the Mini Mini Mario's versus Donkey Kong. It's like I don't really think that was too fun. And I don't know if Nintendo can get away with selling one of those games here in this current gaming climate. I mean, if we think about it, it would probably be like like a forty dollar game at most. But I still don't know how well that would sell compared to anything else that Nintendo could release. Well, yeah, I really enjoyed the GBA version as a kid, and there's been like a lot of Mario vs. Donkey Kong games on like the DS and some really bad ones on the 3DS, but. Not really a lot of them stood out that much, so I'm really hoping that whatever this kind of game is on the Switch is, is actually worth it. But, I don't really know Yeah, I, I definitely hear that. But, uh... Yeah, um... And the other thing is just like F-Zero, like... F-Zero has constantly been a series that hasn't sold well, I mean... I'm about to pull up like the sales figures of the F-Zero franchise, but... What was the last one, GX on the GameCube? Man, I don't even know it's been so long. Yeah, I exactly. Nobody really knows about F-Zero, besides for the random Nintendo nerds like us who just know about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, because right, Let's look at this. Yeah, I mean, that's one reason. It's just Captain Falcon. Like, everybody who knows who Captain Falcon is, and not many people know other than that. Yeah, so here are the, um... What's it called? Oh, where is it? Yep, the F-Zero um, game sells. So it looks like um, F-Zero, the original, on the SNES sold 2.85 um, million units. Um, F-Zero X on the N64 sold um, a million point ten units. Then on the GBA, you had F-Zero Maximum Velocity, which sold just over a million. And then the GameCube one sold about 700,000. So, I mean, if you just look at those numbers, it's obvious why Nintendo got rid of the F-Zero license itself and sort of put it on a back burner and didn't really think about it. Because, I mean, just look at those numbers. And I mean, there's even two other games like the um, F-Zero um, Grand Prix Legend, which sold just under um, 200,000. And then the um, F-Zero Climax on the GBA, which didn't even, which sold about, um, what is that, 5,000 copies? I mean, that's not good sales, right? And, mm. I mean, when you start off with millions, like almost 3 million in sales, this game has to do great, or else I think F-Zero would be canned forever if it is announced, I mean... I definitely agree. Yeah. Um, what else do you got for us game prediction-wise? Yeah. One thing I was talking about with my dad earlier was Star Fox. Because, you know, we haven't heard anything about Star Fox in, like, forever. And, like, it's such a prominent game franchise. It's about time we get some, like, new Star Fox content on, like, the Switch. Or even something with what, remotely Star what Fox What is it? I mean, we gotta think, the last time we got something Star Fox was in Starling, Battle for Atlas. And I really don't think that game did too well with how chronically it got, like, deals like, oh, you can buy the entire starter pack for $7 at Best Buy, look at that. I mean, I, I, I highly doubt that game sold well, and I don't see most... I mean, you gotta think, with the Switch, it's a system that not too many people or really know anything above, like, Mario, Zelda. Oh, yeah, those guys are cool. And, oh, maybe the Star Fox guy, maybe we've seen him in Smash, but besides for that, most people probably don't know who Star Fox is. I mean, you gotta remember, we're the ones sitting here talking about, like, oh, we're Nintendo nerds, so we know a lot more about the franchise than most other people do, so I honestly don't see anything Star Fox related at this presentation. Yeah, I guess I do agree with that. It's just, uh, I wish we did uh, get some more Star Fox appreciation, because they're pretty good games. Yeah, I mean, I can agree with you. I mean, I wish we got something, but I just don't really see it happening. 
I mean, another game that people always bring up is they want more Kid Icarus stuff. And at the same time, it's like, I highly doubt we're going to be getting anything like that. But one thing I can actually see us getting more of was the Super or Princess Peach game that was announced at the last Nintendo Direct. I mean, I feel like that is something that they could end up talking about here. Yeah, some sort of like Super Princess Peach 2, or maybe like a completely new game, something like that. It's definitely going to get mentioned somewhere in the still ad, and uh, I'm all for it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, granted, we only saw like three seconds of it last time, but I can definitely see a lot more interesting things coming out of the whole Princess Peach game out of this direct. Um, another thing that I'm sort of looking forward to, or not really looking forward to, but expecting is, I expect there to be some kind of, like, Kirby announcement here, right? Um, not really major in any way, but just, like, some small thing Kirby-related. I mean, I just sort of feel it in my bones that that's going to be happening tomorrow. Yeah, Kirby is one of those franchises that gets all the spin-off games, like Dream Buffet, or the 3DS, like... Oh, God. I Kobe forgot Cloud. Dream Buffet existed. Exactly. Like, um, it's just one of those that has so many games. Yeah, I mean, Kirby's a massive franchise, and one day you really don't think that sells that well, but in, it really does in retrospect. Um, but I think the other thing with this interact, I mean, I think we've talked about all the really first-party stuff we want to talk about. I mean... We know for a fact Zelda um, Tears of Kingdom is not getting any DLC. Um, Al Numa said that himself. So it's not like we're going to be expecting anything like that there. So really everything else that we haven't talked about is really just what third party stuff do we think is going to get mentioned here. And I mean, what third party stuff do you think is going to be mentioned? Hmm. All Night so Song, baby. Th that was going to be my ending joke, but you already said it. <laughs> Unfortunately. I, I, I don't. I mean, as much as I would love for Silk Song to have some sort of thing to say, and, oh yeah, this is coming on tomorrow, or this is coming out soon, right? I, <laughs> as much as I want it to happen, I just think the Team Cherry is just going to be taking more and more time with it. I mean, at this point, they've already taken, like, what? Gods and Monsters, or, I'm sorry, um, God Master, it used to be called Gods and Monsters. That came out in, like, what, 2019? Yeah. Or 2020 or something like that? So they've been working on Silk Song now for at least four ish years, and I can see them. I don't see honestly see Silk Song coming out until 2025. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, completely fair. I mean, as much as I want it in my hands now, and like, if it came out tomorrow, oh golly, do you you better believe I'm. I don't see it happening. <laughs> That's a shame. Um. Yeah, but really, I don't really have too much else to say. I mean, um, any of our predictions, like, random things lurking in the back of your head that you're thinking of? Not really. Uh, I think this device going to be full of a lot of new stuff, which is what I'm excited for. Because it's, it's been, it hasn't been too long since the last one. So I'm predicting a lot of, like, brand new content. So not much to predict on right now. So, like, ARMS 2? <laughs> ARMS 2. Uh, uh, ARMS 2? Um, what else are we going to get, um... Come on, everybody, 1-2 Switch. I mean, what's the other bad 1-2 Switch sequel we're going to get here? I want Tomodachi Life 2 already. Yeah, yeah um... Oh, man, I saw something. Um, do you think there's a related thing here? What did you say? Nintendogs. Nintendogs? Man, yeah. that'd be epic, but... I don't know. Yeah, I see a lot of people, like, outcrying for it. I don't see anything at all Nintendogs related here, but, um... Yeah, that's yeah. not happening. I mean, just going through, like, Nintendo's other IPs, I mean, there should not be anything Xenoblade related here, unless you're gonna announce, like, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which I honestly don't see happening. I mean, 3 came out just last year, and the DLC Future Dean came out earlier this year, so I highly doubt anything um, Xenoblade will be happening. And then at the same time, I also don't think anything at all um, Fire Emblem will be happening here either, so. I, I definitely put the, that the first 20 minutes, I bet, of this whole direct is just going to be a talk about the new Pokemon DLC. What do you think? 
Oh, by far. I am I, I will confidently say that. I don't think, I think it'll be scattered about halfway through. I think we're going to open up with like maybe Wonder or something like that. But I definitely think Pokemon DLC will be in there and it'll be talked about like five minutes straight. Yeah. It'll be like, why are we wasting our time on this, right? I mean, the damn thing's already out. Exactly. But, um, anything else you want to say? No, not really. I'm all good. Yeah. Um, so if that, hey, everybody, thanks for watching our video here on Nintendo Direct Predictions. Um, I will definitely be back to talk about, um, Nintendo Direct, what actually happened tomorrow. Will you be joining me, Jacob? Perhaps. So, um, be looking forward to that on the channel. Um, if you did enjoy this and did enjoy this video here on Nintendo content, I've got a few other sort of Nintendo related videos on the channel, but I do mostly talk about anime and manga related content. So if you're a fan of anything Shonen Jump related or anything like that, or if you just want, or want to stay, stick around for the occasional Nintendo Direct talkings, you can check all that here on the channel. And I personally want to hear what you have, what you guys want to predict. Um, leave that all down in the comment box down below. And hey, if something appropriate happens, maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow. But um, yeah, with that, I don't really have too much else to say. Doesn't sound like Jacob does either. And with that, um, this would be Jacob and Corbin signing out. So, Will Plasma 231, out.